Hey guys, what's up? This is a short little video on the Hodrick Prescott filter. Let's go. So what is the Hodrick Prescott filter and what is it used for? The HP filter is a tool for separating economic time series data into two parts, the growth component and cyclical component. In simple terms, the word filtering or filter is meant to be detrending. This is important because every point in an economic time series is comprised of these two elements mixed together with each other. In general, we can say that for this time series of data, we have yt is equal to yg times yc, where yt is a economic variable in questions value at time t, and yg is the portion that accounts to this process uh, via long-term growth, and yc is the portion by which we can say that this is the fluctuations or the cyclical component. We can analyze this relationship more easily if we take a logarithm of it, right? Meaning that even though we don't know uh, the direct relationship over here, we can simplify it just by taking the log and linearizing the process. Uh, for notational simplicity, we'll just go and note this by lowercase y is equal to lowercase gt plus ct. So the HP mathematically is defined as the following, where yt is equal to the minimization of this expression over here with respect to gt, which is the summation of all cyclical components at time t squared, plus lambda times the summation of all, uh, you know, second order difference equations of our growth rate equation, which is a little bit complicated, where t goes from two to t minus one. So if we were to go and rewrite this, we can change this C component as being defined as the deviations from the growth rate. Um, the first term is interpreted as the sum of square deviations of the economic time series from our growth rate, which I just said. And the second term is a second order difference equation, which exists for the trend and is multiplied by a factor of lambda. Practically speaking, the second term measures the changes in estimated growth rate from one period to the next. This is used often in actuarial sciences as an estimate of smoothness. The point of this minimization problem is to identify the value of GT, meaning that we want to go and understand what is the growth component over here. So the minimization problem, if you're just looking at it, it involves uh, first period uh, it involves the period ahead and the period behind uh, it's pretty complicated and requires some more advanced matrix algebra involving pentadiagonal matrices which you know uh, I've, I've seen a little bit but i'm not really so sure myself and this video is taking that process for granted um, i'm just here to talk about the theory of the user you know who's just going to plug in that stuff into their equation and just uh, see uh, what results are going to pop out However, for this problem to compute, we need to choose a value of lambda. If we choose a bigger lambda, the smoother our estimate of the underlying trend will be, and the closer to the straight line our growth portion will become. The smaller lambda is, the smaller the deviations from our growth segment is. When lambda is equal to zero, we can say our process uh, represents growth completely. Uh, so this process is represented by gt is equal to yt, so that's uh, obviously a little silly um, because that means you know it's not much of a filter at all though there are formal ways of calculating the appropriate value of lambda for quarterly data it's usually chosen that uh, a value of 1600 so let's go talk about visualizing the hp filter um, this is just a result uh, that i took from uh, stack overflow it's just an image that from r um, of an application of the Hodrick Prescott filter. Um, so here we go and see that, you know, it separates the growth component and that's not necessarily a straight line. It's, it has a little bit of curves to it. And we see that it separates uh, the cyclical component as well from that growth component. So that's uh, the power of it over here because we're able to go and pull out uh, what are the exact fluctuations and uh, what is really the trend. So um, the HP filter, uh, to a certain extent, is just a fancy uh, detrending tool, and um, it relies a lot on the values of lambda that you go and you choose. So um, I didn't really cover that over here, but I'm going to go and link some papers uh, in the description below uh, by which you can go and find out more and a little bit more stuff on uh, the stuff with regards to the pentadiagonal matrices and solving for G using linear algebra. Take care. I hope this video helps.